If you or a loved one are struggling with type 2 diabetes, you should visit the link in the description below. This clinically proven drug-free program lowers blood sugar to a normal level and can completely reverse type 2 diabetes within just a few weeks. Here's today's video. The question, what happens when your blood sugar is too high? Answer by Pratik Gagawar. High blood sugar usually comes on slowly. It happens when you don't have enough insulin in your body. High blood sugar can happen if you miss taking your diabetes medicine, eat too much, or don't get enough exercise. Insulin was a hormone needed for proper control of blood sugar. Specifically, insulin helps move sugar from your blood into most of your body where sugar is used for energy. In patients with type 2 diabetes, the pancreas does not make enough insulin, and or the insulin that the pancreas makes does not work the way that it should. As a result, sugar in the blood cannot enter most cells and the cells are unable to use this sugar for innate energy, while the liver makes too much sugar. This, in turn, causes blood sugar levels to get too high, which can cause serious long-term health problems. When it's high, the sugar molecules randomly attach themselves to various protein molecules, at places where sugar molecules aren't supposed to be attached. The only thing that happens is that your blood sugar rate will drop significantly fast and you will feel fatigued and maybe nausea. Answer by Rachel Dove What happens when blood sugars are high? Well, do you mean short term or long term? Long term high blood sugars eat up the body's nerves. It begins slowly, sometimes quickly, and it makes its way through the body to eat away at the nerves of the eyes, heart, kidneys, feet. We're talking retinopathy, neuropathy, kidney dysfunction, amputations, and all sorts of horrible and serious complications. Short-term high blood sugars also suck. They steal away your concentration, your focus, your energy. They seep away at your life-giving force and make you feel lethargic, in pain, heady, and altogether not very present. A doctor of mine once described it as having a tea with 10 or 20 spoons of sugar inside, as opposed to just the one, or two. It's a sticky mess, and I say sticky because that's the reality, the sugar actually sticks to the blood cells and doesn't go anywhere. Answer by, Berry Gem. If it's really high, like 600 mg slash DL, it makes your neurons shrink due to the high osmotic difference between the interior of the cells and the surrounding fluid, and you go into a diabetic coma, and possibly die. If it's not that high, but still pretty high, some escapes into your urine, causing you to produce more urine and drink more water to make up for it. This is actually the origin of the name diabetes, flowing through. When it's high, the sugar molecules randomly attach themselves to various protein molecules, at places where sugar molecules aren't supposed to be attached. This is what is measured by the Hb. A1c reading. That shows the glycosylation of hemoglobin, which isn't particularly important, but it indicates the extent T of glycosylation of other proteins, like those in the linings of your blood vessels. Glycosylation of those causes vascular damage, which leads to things like blindness and poor peripheral circulation, which means wounds don't heal well in the feet. In particular, can become infected and require amputation. 